Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Clifton Public Library's Maker's Day Take Home Craft Instruction video. Maker's Day takes place on March 19th and 20th. This celebration inspires and activates libraries to showcase and highlight STEM and maker culture, enhancing lifelong learning. Many different types of crafts and activities fall under this, including woodworking, knitting, robotics, just to name a few. The goal is to create. My name is Miss Heather. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Clifton Public Library. And today I will show you two crafts that you can make at home very easily. The first will be a little butterfly made out of a coffee filter and a pipe cleaner. And the second will be a rocket ship that uses science to actually blast off. Hopefully all of you have picked up your kits from the Clifton Public Library that include all the supplies that you will need. If you didn't, you can still make the crafts as they use very simple craft supplies that are very easy to get or to have around your house. So in your kit, you should have had a coffee filter and a pipe cleaner. We'll be using these to make the butterfly. You should also have a rocket ship cut out and two pieces of straw. One a bendy piece of straw and the other another piece of straw that is uh, kind of stapled at the end to close off the end. In addition to that, you will also need tape and either mokos or crayons, something that you can decorate your crafts with. And that's all you need to make these two very fun crafts. So let's begin with the butterfly that we're going to make. First, you want to take your coffee filter and kind of spread it out so it's mostly flat and then decorate it any way that you want. You can do wavy lines or spirals or any kind of design that you would like. So take a few moments and decorate your coffee filter. Again, you can decorate it any way that you like. Once you've decorated your coffee filter, you're going to take it and you're going to kind of scrunch up the middle. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just want it to be scrunched up in the middle and then kind of fluff the edges out. You want the edges to be mostly roundish. So like so. So again, it doesn't have to be super tight, but you just want to kind of have it gathered in in the middle and then just kind of fluff out the edges a bit. Then you're going to take your pipe cleaner, uh, make sure it's folded in half, and then you're going to put your pipe cleaner right in the middle of your coffee filter. That's going to be what holds it closed. So again, you can take a moment to try to fluff out your coffee filter so that it makes kind of nice butterfly wings. So again, you want it scrunched up in the middle, wrap the pipe cleaner around it, fluff out the edges of the coffee filter and then just give a little bit of a twist. So just a little bit of a twist at, uh, right above the middle of your coffee filter and that will make the pipe cleaner hold it. Okay, so you have your two fluffy bits of coffee filter that make the wings of the butterfly. You have the pipe cleaner holding it closed in the middle. And then we have the two pieces coming off the top. So now you want to just give a little bit of a call to make the antenna of your butterfly. So just kind of arrange it. Just kind of circle it around. You can even wrap it around your finger. That's an easy way to do it. So again, just kind of wrap it around your finger. Make a little spiral. 
and then you can twist it so you have it in the shape that you would like and again you can make little spirals you can make big old spirals if you want however you would like your butterfly to look and that's the butterfly craft next we're making a rocket ship and a rocket ship real rocket ships of course use fuel to blast off we're going to be using our own breath to create the propulsion that's needed to make the rocket ship blast off and that's where the straws come in so that we can blow through it and instead of going that's not going to do much by concentrating our breath through the narrow straw that gives it the propulsion it needs to fly so you're going to start with your rocket ship cut out now if you're not able to pick up the craft kit and don't have the supplies you can create your own rocket ship draw your own and cut it out from a piece of paper then decorate it however you would like. You can color it in, you can make swirly lines, you can do spirals, you can do any kind of decoration that you'd like. Pick out your favorite colors. Then the next step is to take the straw that is closed off at one end. And this is very important uh, to make sure it's closed off at one end. And you're going to tape this to the back of your rocket ship. Try to get it as lined up in the middle as you can. So you can see on the completed one, it's already taped on and that's what it, sh it should look something like that. So again, you just need one or two pieces of tape for this. Again, you wanna try to get it as straight as you can and you want to tape it to the back. You don't want to tape it to the front. You want to tape it to the back. Just add the tape. And tape it down. And you can add a second piece of tape if you like. To try to keep it nice and tight and straight. So add a second piece of tape a little bit lower down. So that our straw is nice and firmly attached to a rocket ship. Then you take the other piece of straw, the bendy straw, and you just slide it inside. So you see one is much smaller than the other, so it slides right inside very neatly. And then by blowing through the straw, the air will get trapped in the yellow straw, the piece that's why it's, we need it taped down and stapled down, and that will cause your rocket ship to fly. So go ahead and try it. So I hope you enjoyed these crafts. And you can do experiments. You can try what happens if you have a longer piece of straw or a shorter piece of straw. If you add weights to your rocket ship, go ahead and experiment and see what changes you can make that would make it fly better or worse. So I hope you enjoyed these crafts and to so have fun making them at home. And we hope to see you again at the library very soon. Have a good day.